But what our mission is, is to bring you the highest quality at the lowest price, right? So it's not just the lowest price and it's not just the highest quality. We're bringing, we're bringing them two together. And, you know, a lot of what we do, and Ryan can go into a little more detail about this, but a lot of what we do is, uh, is our testing, right? We're very big on our testing, third-party testing, um, each individual ingredient, as well as the final product. Um, you've maybe heard us talk about proprietary blends and like these blends are not a negative thing. What it means is just it's a blend unique to the company, to the to the manufacturer. But what we've done and what we encourage you to always make sure you, you're checking out when you're taking a supplement is that the, uh, the proprietary blends don't just list the ingredients, but they list the amounts of each ingredient. Because if you're just listing the ingredients, that's where you get into that fairy dusting where it allows a company maybe to sprinkle in one of the you know main highlighted ingredients that everybody, everybody's excited to take, but it may just be a dash and it's really not going to do anything. So you need to know the numbers. You need to know what you're taking, but also why you're taking it. You need to make sure there's no fillers, additives, junk, and high quality ingredients. What do you have to add to that? Yeah, I, so, oh, gosh. Uh, I mean, I cover a lot. You did. You kind of covered a lot of it. But if people are curious about like what testing is done, they're, they're actually, we did a Zoom on that too. But like, yeah, that's a big part of it for sure. You know, there's CGMP. That's a standard for most manufacturers. You can exceed that now, though there are different levels of that that you can comply with. Um, a lot of it's just brand transparency. What do you see on the label? And of course, do you have access to the certificate of analysis and, and any additional lab testing that's performed, I think are the best you know, indicators. And of course, dosing. You know, dosing ranges, like if she said, if you put an ingredient in there and just put a little bit that's so, sort of subclinical, then what what real benefit can that possibly have? So you want to make sure there's some evidence base behind the, the, the selection of the ingredient. Exactly. Yeah. Very good point. Um, hey, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm also wearing our new sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> These are now on our website. So exciting times coming up on those winter months, but it's super cozy and comfortable. Um, we are in Florida. It is not winter, but um, it's comfortable. So <laughs> I am wearing mine today. Um, okay, so before we go into some questions yep. too, um, well, actually, let's go, let's do that. All we, right, we can talk about them because see the yes. first one that came in was from Kelly. Kelly Mark, question: Can you discuss expand on why you believe high protein is the healthiest? You have mentioned the blue zones of longevity, yet most are vegan, vegetarian, low protein, high carb. Thanks. Um, so I don't see that many are vegan or vegetarian. They do get their protein. They get it from um, nuts and seeds. They get from lean meats, eggs. fish, and eggs. Yeah. Um, and that, that's typically, a, those are all staples in the blue zone diet, which is along the lines of two, like the Medita Mediterranean diet. Uh, now, when, when I say we need high protein, it doesn't mean we need low carb, right? So you can, you can get your great ratios that you need of protein, carbohydrates, and fats um, eating eating high carb, you know, eating high carbohydrates, meaning... Um, sweet potatoes, fruits, vegetables. I mean, all these are carbohydrates uh, and beans, all carbohydrates. You know, you don't have to just think carbohydrates is like, I'm going to eat my big plate of pasta. That's different. And they didn't do that. So um, it, it, yes, some whole grains, but it's a lot of the beans, fruits, vegetables, heavy, heavy on the fruits and vegetables, which again are all carbohydrates and they add up. So it's about a, you know, a, a good split of your macros, you know, 40, what, 30, 30, 20, Right. I, well, I mean, 30, 30, 40, 40, I would think that the pro, well, the protein argument is that it's not necessarily the fuel. It's not the first fuel your body's going to use, but it's the build, all those amino acids that make up the protein are what's responsible for building our lean muscle mass, our bone mass, our hormones, our neurotransmitters, our enzymes, all of the different cofactors and things, uh, and non-essential vitamins, things that our body can manufacture. So that all sort of, that all will mostly, not all, but mostly happens from protein synthesis muscle right. protein synthesis. And like you said, a lot yeah. of the so, important vitamins, you know, come from our, our protein sources. So, you know, you will see with vegan and vegetarians, you know, they, they're typically deficient in many vitamins um, because it's hard to get it without getting the, the protein. Yeah. So, you know, it's not necessary that we need to like only eat protein, but it should be part of your, your plate, you know, it, it yeah. should be. And if you could have a balance, like if we could eat that solid three meals a day and not this crazy snacking and you had the balance of protein, carbs, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, that's ideal. Getting them from high quality sources, right? So 
That's a lot of what the blue zone does. And people forget that the, mm -hmm. the meat also is high in phytonutrients that we always talk about. Eat the rainbow. You can get it in your vegetables. And we encourage that. But mm -hmm. uh, meats can also be very high in phytonutrient as well. So. Yes. Cool. Awesome, Kelly. Thank you. Just a little touch on that. Um, okay. While you're going through, so the computer's in front of us. So you see us looking down. We're just scrolling through, reading some comments, some questions. Um, so we also wanted to talk about some updates that we've done. Um, so the, for those of you that have been with us for a while, this is great for you to know the updates. And even if you're new, it's just nice to know, because one thing we always do is we always strive to, to be the best, to be better. Um, and we'll make improvements as, as we go and as we can. So um, I'd like you to talk about some of the improvements because I know, you know, you being the formulator, but what I will, what I do know is our um, CBD oil, the natural, we have 750 and 1500, both in USDA organic. So that's a great option, and the prices did not even go up. No, the prices stayed the same, and it's fifteen hundred. It's um one hundred percent organic, which yes. is kind of unusual in the CBD world. So, yes. which is awesome. We did make changes along the way. The vitamin C uh, in the multivitamins is, was converted to acerola. The uh, we did the organic. The vitamin D is coming soon as an organic, but it's it, you know it's fine. Um, we're not quite there yet, but it'll be out here soon. We've got uh, oh, the protein. protein went from being a fermented pea, which we love the fermented pea, but it went to a USDA certified organic because the the amino acid profile actually improved and the dry weight basis was just as good. So two of the big compelling points of the, of the fermented stuff. So those are the things we do and you, it kind of goes under the radar. And I, you know, it's important though, because you, the consumer are, should be looking for those types of things. And we don't always make it readily apparent to you uh, because we don't raise prices and make a big deal out of it. And I will continue to do that. So always just another good reason why you want to tune into these types of Q and A's and, and uh, just stay tuned with, with what we've got going on because there's just, I face it. I mean, there's going to be changes. There always will be changes to product. We'll make improvements along the way yes. as needed. So one improvement that we do want. So we have our children's organic gummy multivitamin. And if you've ordered this, you'll know is that they kind of stick together. So by the time you know, you're banging around trying to get the gummy out, um, but we're not going to change the formula because we didn't add. What what did you choose? Carnauba not? wax would make it so they don't stick together. Okay, so but if you notice, they're not deformed. No. They will just stick. They can clump. You can still get them out, but yeah. you, she wants to add a wide mouth so that you can get in easily and pull them apart. Yeah. So right now it's kind of, you know, I just one or two fingers can get the gummy out, but we will do a wide mouth when we're ready to. Yeah, exactly. Our next order. Yeah. Um, I feel like I have it in my hand. I might as well. Oh, there you <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. I do like them. Um, okay. So, oh, and I did want to talk, this is not an update, but I wanted to talk about our detox because I do get a lot of questions on how to take it. And I realized that it doesn't say to mix with water. You don't want to put this straight in your mouth. It's got a- um, You can. You can. I, I do. I thought, yeah, I okay. like it. You can. I like it. Chew, very, chew. Sorry. I'll talk. It's very green um, and it has a very earthy um, flavor. So That's a lot of people that have said that they don't like that smell earthy flavor, right. put it in water. It actually is quite delicious. No, I actually really like it. I'll take it straight. Yeah. And it doesn't, okay, so, the staining doesn't last like the methylene blue. It no. goes away very quickly. So total personal preference, but I have had the comment. So question, how is Live Good 6 billion probiotic better than the 30 billion on Chuck Norris's push? We're 60 billion. Um, Just to start, it's not six, it's 60. But don't, don't hyper-focus on the, the, uh, are they CFUs, colony forming units? Yes. Yeah. It should be active colony units. There's another measurement that you really want to pay attention to in the probiotic world. I'm drawing a blank. Instead of colony forming units, I think it's active, active colony. It would show the activity of the uh, strain. So two things to, to tell you all about gut support and probiotics. When you do look at a, a strain of the bacteria, you should know the strain. I would say nine... 95% of brands don't know the strain that they're putting in their product. So you're saying so in the, the strain in the parentheses, you'll see the strain. That's a really big deal. That is actually what the strain is. Most brands have no idea. Most brands are using products that have been made, uh, strains that have been made in the lab, God knows how long ago. Um, so they don't know how active the unit is. Whereas we actually ferment, they, we actually make the strains for each batch. And so we could tell you uh, with certainty the strain and, and then how many active units there are. So that's the big deal. I get that the CFUs are something that people use to measure, but right, to Lisa's but, point. But there's there are 10 probiotic strains in here, each one at 6 billion, equaling 60 billion. But again, like Ryan was saying, you don't necessarily want need to focus exactly on that, but the, the more specifics, 
Also, obviously, we have the digestive enzymes, the prebiotic complex. I don't know Chuck Norris's, so I can look it up later if you want to email me, if you're still require, you know, interested in more information. And also just be aware that same thing I was just talking about with proprietary blends, a lot of probiotics lump their strains into one. So they may say like yeah, 30 billion CFUs and they have like five different strains, but you have no idea how much of each strain you're taking. So um, I'm not saying Chuck Norris is, is that because I, again, I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. All right, Roxanne asked in the order in which you would take supplements, including lean, shilajit and probiotics. So for me, I would do the probiotics, empty stomach in the morning. First thing you tolerate it. Well, you could keep doing probiotics, empty stomach. The lean should be, there's three, well, servings per day. So it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So when you first break your fast, so take two capsules, be 30 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. prior to each meal. And then your shilajit, uh, actually it can be done any time of day. I I think it should be done on an empty stomach. You could take it with the gut support first thing in the yes, morning. I take mine, the shilajit, and probiotics at the same time Boom. first thing in the morning. Cool. So they kind of just so ease this, their way in nicely. This is very relevant right here. Thank you for asking this, Jenny. So shilajit is actually currently out of stock only for a day or two the question is when is shilajit so going to be back what, when, so when just turned it off. i would say, yeah literally just had to get turned off because we mm -hmm. just just missed it by a couple of days so this is not an extended outage right. we'll have it back on wednesday thursday at the latest right. but the reason it was to you know we shut it off because we don't want to delay any orders so Correct. if you you had a multi you know product order but we're waiting on your shilajit it's kind of you know you gotta get upset and frustrated if something's like days late so Leisha writes, what, which other products are best to help with high cholesterol? You might want to start with answering because you you think your cholesterol is, you think you have dyslipidemia where you have high LDL, which is the bad. And if you want right. to talk about that, you can try. Yeah, sure. So we also do have a training on it. So make sure you check out um, our other YouTube videos. We do have a, a cholesterol training and I'm happy to email you more information. But I mean, bottom line, you really need to be addressing your micronutrient deficiencies. A lot of these vitamins and minerals play a healthy role in um, cholesterol metabolism. Um, including, so your, your daily essentials pack, your factor four, great with the fish oil, the turmeric, all that great for the inflammation, um, as well as the shilajit, um, and sea moss, which we were just talking about back in stock in a few days, um, addressing your gut health plays a role and diet and exercise major roles there. So using, you know, our, our protein powders to help get lean, you know, protein in you for, you know, lower calories and, I mean, you need to exercise. You've got to move your body. Yeah, body composition will take you as far as you know it, it can, right? With all the things she just talked about, uh, and then a lot of times in the in the Western sick care model, we get to the point where we go, oh, we can't explain why your LDL is so high, so we're going to blame it on familial, you know, hypercholesterolemia, which is like, oh, you have a genetic component. I I truthfully think we're focusing too too aggressively on the LDL lowering. I'm just as a new thing for me, but you know, maybe it's driven so more by more so by farm big pharma. Um, but I, who knows? And I know the data is strong on, on, on lowering LDL, but I don't know. I think that women already should have a higher LDL. They should have, because there's just more to it, right? Cholesterol is, right. is actually really important for steroid and uh, hormonal uh, metabolism yes. as well. You need to take a deeper dive, but deeper I mean, dives. if you're super healthy, eat clean, exercise, take your supplements, and you're still struggling with a little bit of dyslipidemia, um, just take a deeper dive because it's not necessarily... A bad thing uh, and i didn't say super reds super reds so, yeah. heart, super heart healthy heart healthy this one lean and women's hormone supplement together by christine i mean the only thing that we say is try to take lean alone because to, you just right for the no, i don't think it matters so much i mean really it's 30 to 60 minutes before a meal there, there, you could take it with food you could you know lean you know it doesn't so so it, the uh, whole point was the expansion of the stomach is to, to, to slow the motility okay. a little bit to activate the glp1 receptor that's kind of how lean is but is, with the fiber we're not worried about absorption issues of other vitamins and minerals? i mean the only thing that you would possibly worry about is the motility issue if it slows okay. gastric transit time okay. you may not absorb as well the nutrients as well so yeah I, if you could space it out I just think that's really nitpicky and I think sure. it's hard on people to worry about that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I take my hormonal balance, you know, with my multivitamins after my breakfast, multivitamin, vitamin D. Um, suggestion for de decrease in high triglycerides, please. So good question, Joe, this actually is an easy answer for me. You grab the factor four factor four. So the FDA has a qualified, there's a qualified health claim for lowering triglycerides. Um, with omega-3 fatty acids. So the pharmaceutical companies have a couple of drugs on the market, one of which is Lovaza, where they just basically say a gram 
So three to four grams per day of omega-3 fatty acids will lower triglycerides. And in fact, it does. The clinical evidence supports that. So uh, in order to do that, this has about 600 milligrams of, EP of EPA and DHA, which is your omega-3s per soft gel. So two soft gels is 1.2. So if you could work yourself up to six soft gels a day, you would see you would start to get into that higher, that category of lowering triglycerides, which is between three and four grams a day. Um, if you start at two soft gels a day, that's where you start to see sort of those anti-inflammatory effects kind of kick in um, as a benefit of the fish oil. So there's kind of two, two phases to, to the benefits of uh, uh, lipid lowering uh, the, the fish oil. Right. And diet and exercise. And diet and exercise, <laughs> of course. But, Mineral. but yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Let's go to, where's that one? I can't see it. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, that right here. Go to Melanie. Melanie just had a, a question about the detox. Yes. So Melanie noticed that after she'd taken the detox, she's been taking it, her skin is breaking out. Um, so this is not a release of parasites. This is not a parasite cleanse. This is a, a, um, a detox that binds to toxins in the body and helps excrete them. But where do we excrete toxins? Our sweat, our urine, and our bile. So you could be releasing toxins, you know, through your pores, through your skin. So just make sure you're sweating a lot help that process go. Um, and you know, obviously, you know, hygiene, just make sure you're cleaning your face, but it's a lot of, if you can help this, the, the sweating process, sauna, sauna is good for that. Yeah. Um, exercising, it will help. Yeah. Help yep. get those toxins, excuse me, get those toxins out and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate along hydrate, with hydrate. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What else do we have? And so if you're just joining us late again, this is our AUA Ask Us Anything, where we take all health and product-related questions live, um, try to answer the best of our ability. Um, make sure, yes, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hi, hi Ernie. Would, right you be, would you be able to add a product that includes L-Arginine and L-Citrulline to help increase the production of nitric oxide? I'd be interested in a product like this. So we originally promoted the Super Reds as a, as a kind of a potent nitric oxide vasodilator, right? The, the Super Reds, because dietary nitrates have that pathway where they get converted to nitric oxide. But two of the main precursors for nitric oxide production are actually what you just mentioned here, L-Citrulline and L-Arginine. But the dosing matters. So if you look at the essential aminos and you go on the back, you'll see that citrulline has three grams. So 3,000 milligrams of citrulline and 500 milligrams of arginine. That is clinically shown to very drastically improve uh, nitric oxide production. So there you go, Ernie. Yes. I think and the essential this aminos. This combination is powerful. It is powerful. For nitric oxide production. It really is powerful. I agree with that. Thank you. Everybody's loving the hoodie. It's great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So any other questions, guys, write them in. You know, a lot of these um, AUAs, they can be long, they can be short. Oh, boy, David's back. What's up, David? Oh, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> hey, David, peek. I don't get it. Take a break. Take a break. <laughs> okay. Can you recommend what is the best supplement for my age? Okay. So our, our supplements are, I mean, they're for all ages, um, you know, all adult ages. So age 53. I mean, you need the same thing as, you know, as 33, um, premenopausal. I mean, if you're doing great, no symptoms of, you know, met, I mean, no symptoms of menopause or even, um, menstruation difficulty, then you, you know, you could try the hormonal support if you need it or not. If not daily essentials pack factor four, those eliminate those nutrient deficiencies, calm down the inflammation, unwanted inflammation, always need to address gut health. Um, I said, uh, and then uh, super reds and super greens, very important for that high antioxidant load. And I'm going to always bump into that essential aminos because especially, you know, females as we're aging before we hit menopause, like we're already declining in muscle mass. This is everybody. And then when we hit menopause, it plummets like dramatically. Yeah, it accelerates. yeah. So you really need to focus on that. So don't wait until it's a problem. Make sure you're on top of it. That's our essential aminos. We also have the creatine HMB which is very, very good for, for it as well. Um, as well as the brain health. So yeah. as you enter into that, that, you know, premenopause, menopause, some of the brain fog that comes along with it, such powerful benefits of creatine and brain health. Yep. Um, I mean, I could keep going on. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a shilajit shilajit with the, even with like <laughs> the, the typical decrease in libido, the, the, the decrease in energy, the decrease yes. in 
the different things, you know, the vasomotor symptoms that you might have, the night sweats, the things of that nature if you're in perimenopause. But that is a reminder to where, uh, what's your name, Dan Danica? You, you definitely should know your hormone levels. Mm -hmm. So seek out somebody that has experience in testing and working with women and make sure you have your hormone levels checked. And it'd be really, really nice if you had them already checked and say five or 10 years prior and you kind of know where you were prior to peri and uh, menopausal state. So that, yes. cause that's typically the time you'd want to address that prior to pre in a premenopause state, right? Like you want to address major deficiencies there. Like if your sleep is just totally whacked and you're getting horrible sleep every night cause you're progesterone's off like you know right. non-existent so yeah. yeah and and hormone optimization is key so we talked about e the difference between the different estrogens in one of our zooms when we did peri we did the women's hormonal support product we right. went into some of the hormone balancing and the yes. benefits of dim and the different things of that so but it's a huge topic um good luck on that that's yes. that can be definitely difficult to work through um, i'm getting questions on the fabric of the hoodies i don't know it off the top of my head i don't really want to take it off and look right now, but it's going to be on our website this week. Um, I'm waiting on measurements of everything. So uh, that goes along with the um, beanie. If you didn't see the beanie as well, getting the fabric of both as well as the measurements. So it's easy to purchase. Do, do, do. Okay. Maddie says that her eyesight, her eye exam has improved from taking our supplements and Maddie, make sure you add in, um, if you're not already the multivitamins. Oh, that's right. Because the they lutein. have the, yeah, yeah the marigold flower extracts, the lutein and zeaxanthin, which is very powerful for eye health, vision support. <clears throat> uh, there's a question about do we sell products on Amazon? They are for sale on Amazon, guys. Just remember this, this on the business side is a, is a membership as the product. And the more awareness that the brand creates on selling product, the more opportunity you have to promote. Also, the more that goes into the, to the shared pools that you guys can earn from. So that's a win-win for both parties. Right. You'll Anything. hear Ben talk about that. Ben and Nauter will really – if you want to talk to Nauter, he, by the way, he, he'll take your call, and um, you can reach out to him, and he'll be happy to talk you through all of those layers. Right. And anything on, you know, on Amazon is sold at retail, so not our member prices. Right, exactly. So, I mean, obviously, if you've been with LiveGood and if you know LiveGood, you know it makes sense to do the membership because um, if you're buying more than two products a month, a month which – I mean, again, everybody in their their mother needs to be on the four of these, so you're already there. Well, here's um, Kevin. He's on them. He's ready to rock. Look at him. He's doing good. How do I fit all this in my day? I I would say the opposite. How do you not right? Like, and then when you don't, when you miss a day, you'll be like, oh my damn, I, darn it, I freaking miss that. I, you know, I hate when I miss it. You right. know, kind of thing. So it's just routine. Bob, yes. Our humans love routine, so it's not very hard. Right. Um, and you can email me um, your supplements. I'll help you with the routine if you're confused on how to get it all in. Um, because it actually isn't that complicated, and I will help you narrow it down so you're not constantly taking something. You have little lumps of things chunked together. <clears throat> Putting my um, Jenny said. Oh, I love how Jenny's responding yes. to Kevin. There you go. See, we got a lot of feedback. That's awesome. Yeah, you can combine a bunch. That's another thing you absolutely can do because it is about giving the body the nutrients. A lot of products can be combined. Yes. Yes, I have. You know, I had fine. someone tell me the other, day, the other day that they put every one of our powdered products in a drink. Is that okay? I'm like, sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, if I mean, I spread it out for, for, if the taste works for you and that helps you get it in, it's so much more important to do that, to get it in than it, you know, at one time than to not get in at all. Hey, Darren, I'm not sure if you heard, uh, Shilajit's only out for a day or two. You'll see it back online here in the next two days. Okay, so here's it's a lot of uh, actually several questions about powder mixing. Guys, the powders can all be mixed. They can, um, great split up too. Um, I you know kind of play around with it. Find your combinations. Personally, I like the protein powders. I, I alternate them. Sometimes I combine them together. The protein powders, um, super greens, collagen. I like those together. I like my aminos, my reds together. Um, I also take, I take aminos twice a day. So I also mix this with my E3 and creatine before my workout. Um, so yes, you kind of play around with the flavors that work for you, but also like targeting what you're using it for. Like, obviously I like my pre-workout, right? I said the E3, the essential aminos and the creatine. I like my post-workout to load with the protein, the super beans, collagen. So, so I'm really hoping, this is from uh, Just Confused here. I'm really hoping that Live Good goes at European standards than US European standards does don't use all those toxic chemicals. So hopefully LiveGood does the same with cleaning products and skincare. 
I, I'm guessing maybe you haven't really been tuned in that long. That's all we ever talk about is how to remove and keep out these toxic chemicals. We do absolutely formulate to that standard. We're above and beyond even what the EU is doing, us personally. Um, of course, we admire the EU for a lot of the hard decisions they've made is to keep a lot of these chemicals out. Mm -hmm. um, California and New York and the states have both followed through with some of that. They're, they're, they've already banned titanium dioxide and red dye number 4D. Um, so there's definitely a trend. You know, there's some things happening in our country right now where we're picking up and steaming and they start blocking some of these toxic chemicals. But you can see what we've done in a lot of our capsules. They're just organic rice holes. There's no more magnesium stearate or or um, or, or silicon docs, any of this, the lubricants or the glidants. I mean, that's how we roll. I mean, you'll see that. And over time, if things can improve, we will. But vegetable capsules, organ USDA certified organic, whenever possible. Sometimes it's not possible, but as long as you know your supplier and you test and you test and you test and retest, then you, you're going to be okay. But thank you again for that question. I appreciate your concern. Yes. Okay. Click on uh, Kelly Mark has another great one that I want up because we did just recently launch our health assessment questionnaire. Um, so it is an amazing questionnaire that kind of helps you with your health concerns and what's going on, uh, put together these supplement packs. And Kelly is asking, is there an option for them to become a member? But it takes them to the website to then purchase. And you see the membership options, which obviously saves a significant amount of money, as well as, you know, the if one would become an affiliate, it's on our website as well. I hope that answers it. Um, Greg is asking, is methylene blue pharmaceutical grade? Yes, it is. It says on there USP. Oh, hey, what's up, Greg? Great question, man. I wonder how you, yeah, not many people know that. Eh, not many people know to ask that. So Greg methylene, emails me a lot and they're always good questions. All oh, right, right on, Greg. The US, United States Pharmacopeia is basically the source of, it's a pure uh, methylene blue because a lot of methylene blue available in the market can be sourced as industrial grade because it's used in, you know, textile as well as laboratory analysis, and it can be high in contaminants. It is definitely high in contaminants like metals and such. So USP is, is absolutely the way to go. All right. All right. I'm not, I feel like I want to answer. Melody, I want to answer your question, but I don't understand. So I think what she's saying, let me pull it up. I'm having trouble with the keyboard here. here. Regarding amino acids, this is from Melody. Regarding amino acids, if we're using aminos, E3, collagen, and protein, are all the aminos used? So... Because, let's see, in this case, aminos is free form, right? This is free form amino acids. In the case of E3, we have free form amino acids. In the case of collagen and protein, those amino acids are uh, basically complexes to create a protein, right? Just longer. That's all a protein is, is longer strains of amino acids tied together. That's basically what it is. So protein is made up of the building blocks, or sorry, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So when the body consume, when you consume it, it breaks apart. Obviously it absorbs into the bloodstream and the body then will reassemble those amino acids. That's why I always tell you how important collagen is because it's got a unique um, amino acid profile, very different than dietary like protein that you would consider for muscle protein synthesis. So for collagen and different things like that, for bone and for all the other areas, collagen is unique. The, e the, the free form amino acids are, are readily absorbed um in essential aminos as well as e3 um for me yes the answer is yes they will all be used because they all have a different time release so to speak like way that's why i like to combine my combine my whey and my plant protein into one serving even mm -hmm. though it's like 40 grams of protein there it science is now showing that it will absorb just because it's taking over a different uh it's like a, a different release of time so that's all super, super helpful. I, that's not how I would use it, how you're suggesting. I would like to have the essential aminos in between meals or fasting because that's what your body can use those up very quickly. So, but I, I would I would make the argument, yes, they will use them all. We would use them all. There's an upper limit somewhere where they think in science. I used to think it was what, 30 grams of dietary protein, but nobody's oh, really right. looked at it from, from essential aminos in free form. Essential aminos in free form, I think, I think I've seen as high as 50, but you know, you don't need more than 10 to 20 per day, which would be two to three servings of our essential amino acids. So two to three servings per day of that should be plenty um, in between meals or fasting. And if you want to do it the way you're doing it, so be it. That works. Right. Was I know answer? that was a really long-winded answer because <laughs> I didn't know how to answer it quickly and easily. Um, I think someone, I think Roger may have had a question about diabetes, if there's something for diabetes. Um, we just did our training Zoom on it. Was it last week? Last week. So make sure you check that out because it's not just one product. Um, it's a lifestyle disease. So there's a lot of lifestyle modifications and things that need to be done. 
Do any supplements <laughs> include internal hyaluronic? Uh, we have some hyaluronic acid in our collagen. Um, just a reminder for you guys out there that like collagen, I got this question the other day. You do need vitamin C. Vitamin C is absolutely imperative for collagen production. We chose not to put it into the collagen peptides due to oxidation, risk of oxidation. Um, and uh, we, we went into detail on that, how that works, why that would be a concern on our collagen. Uh, so you just need vitamin C in your diet? Yeah, just in your diet. It doesn't diet. have to be at the yeah. exact same time or yes. anything like that. And you'll get it in your diet because otherwise you got scurvy. Yes. And Jenny says she loves eating the children's gummies as their snacks. I tend to do that too. I usually have two a day. If I'm craving a little sweet something right. after lunch. Melanie, I do exactly what you just said here. Should we take detox two in the morning and two at night? That's me. That's how I roll. That's how I get the four servings a day. Yes. And I do four in the evening because it's harder for me to get it in in the morning because I take the other stuff. So it works. Mm hmm. So there's a, there's a question here about constipation. Yes, fiber is on our radar. We're coming out with a dedicated fiber supplement. Um, there is some fiber in some of our products. And, of course, gut support would be good for that as well. So I got you. Um, someone's asking, what is the grams of each of the mushrooms in the coffee? Um, I'll be talking beyond it. Uh, I haven't seen that question. No, there's one. But that's that's the Pico. That's the, it's, I know. It's a Pico, too. Oh, it's, right. So it's a, it's a blend of six adaptogenic mushrooms. There's one gram. That truly is a proprietary blend that even I can't get the actual breakdown of all six. So right, it's, a patented. it's a patented and proprietary. I've tried, I've tried, but I do like, if you check out their video, Pico too, if you go to their website, they're legit. Like they're, they do good stuff. I just and wish they were a little the bit website, more. I can share it with you. So I wish they were more transparent about that though. Right. But they definitely. The gut support is working private. so well for me from Janet. Thank you, Janet. Yay. I agree. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to make it through all the questions, guys. This is one of the reasons why I encourage to get on early, send the questions in. Um, this is just a good one. Do you have to keep the factor four? Um, Sabrina says, do you have to keep the factor four in the bottle or a pill organizer? Uh, you can do the pill organizer. You just have to make sure it's kept in a cool, dry place and those lids are as sealed as they can. I mean, I know they're not like super airtight, but I do put Ryan's in a pill container and they do fine. When will the, Janet asked, when will the fruit punch aminos be back in stock? So later this week, but it probably won't get to the, won't be ready for distribution until next week. Sorry for the delay on that. Awesome. Some good questions. Yep. There's another diabetes question. Again, check out our training we did last week. We went to detail. Larry's asking, what are the benefits of Shilajit? And there's just so many. Uh, we actually did a whole thing on it on our zoom on chili when we first wrote new product right mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot there guys it's a lot of information all right how are we doing i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up just because i see the questions keep there's right, more and more comments of, so i keep scrolling right. and scrolling and, a lot of and scrolling there's a lot of repeat questions which is great so if you did join late make sure you go back and watch um because if your question did get answered directly, it may be because we kind of answered something similar. Right. And I'm always available, guys. So if your question, again, didn't get answered, if you think of something else, I am available via email, lease at livegood.com. Make sure you email me. Is that? Yeah, no, I'm like, I can't, <laughs> can't stop. stop. I can't stop. All right, guys. We'll I know this goes on. It's hard. It's yeah, hard. I know. Yeah. So, again, I mean, we try to keep these around 30 minutes. Sometimes we go over. Um, this is about 35 minutes. We're going to cap it. But again, email me. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We do love these AUAs. We do them every month. Like I said, the last Monday of every month is supposed to be. So you get another one this month. All right, guys. All right. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. Monday. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.